Their fiercely competitive and rapidly growing segment of e-mountain bikes heats up even further with Trek's release of the latest Powerfly range. Join us for a quick look at what's new and hear our thoughts after riding one. The Powerfly range expands with a new LT model, Long Travel, yes, and a focus on battery integration with the new Bosch system and an addition of a carbon model. Pretty sweet. The Powerfly will now come in three variants, a hardtail, the full suspension 130mm travel version uh, and the new LT with 160mm travel at the front and 150 at the back. So what is new? This is Trek's third generation of the Powerfly e-mountain bike uh, and this latest version uses Bosch's PowerTube 500 fully integrated into the down tube of the frame. The battery pops out the drive side of the bike and a little integrated carry handle can be used for easy transportation. We don't usually remove the battery from e-bikes, though this might be a handy feature to some. Using this integrated battery also makes space for a water bottle in the frame and storage mounts for tools too, the first Powerfly to do so. The new Powerfly uses Bosch's latest motor system. The best part of this is the addition of the new EMTB mode, uh, Bosch's very intuitive power delivery system. More on that later. The addition of a carbon model to the lineup really grabbed our attention. We all know that a carbon frame is lighter than aluminium and more lively to ride. Though, in the application of e-bikes, the noise reduction improvements and the way the motor can be better integrated into the frame is of much benefit to the frame designer. The addition of the long travel model to the Powerfly range is music to our ears. These bikes have so much potential and bumping up the travel from 130 at both ends to 150 at the back and 160 up front opens up a whole new level of shreddability. We can only predict that long travel e-bikes become way more popular. With the power of the motor behind you, it's not a worry to be carrying a little extra bike around with you. In relation to many other e-bikes we've ridden, the Powerfly is quite long in the chainstays at 475 mils in length. The word from Trek on this point is longer rear ends play to the strengths of e-bikes and the amount of power that the motor produces needs more bike behind you to keep the front end from lifting, wandering offline and the rider losing control. So, Trek built the Powerfly for rides that regular mountain bikes can't do. Climbing is a major part of what they built this bike for. What are our thoughts on that? Well, while we sure appreciate the, uh, this particular bike's climbing ability and stability at speed, um, the long rear end made the bike really hard to uh, manual or lift the front end over obstacles on the trail. Um, so we just made the most of the 160mm travel fork and just ploughed straight through everything. Would a shorter rear end make us happier? Yeah, for sure. Another big update on the previous Powerfly is the new EMTV setting on the Bosch motor. You can choose between Eco for a longer ride, Tour for middle ground, Turbo for maximum boost, or EMTB, which senses your speed, cadence, power input to choose a power output for you, constantly adapting to uh, deliver what you need. It's like an auto function on your camera, but it works really well. Trek have definitely lifted the game with the new uh, Powerfly range. With the addition of a long travel model, yes, and a super hot carbon version, uh, the new Bosch system with EMTB, uh, the integrated battery, um, it's, it's, it's pretty dialed. From four and a half grand for the hardtail with the same Bosch system, or right up to seven and a half grand for the carbon model, um, we're gonna get one of these on our home trails and give it hell. Thanks for watching, cheers.